Hello, YouTube. How's everybody doing? Well, as I say, today I'll be uh, installing the second battery. So this uh, 60 volt, 20 amp original one, and I'll be, be installing the second uh, battery here. It's a uh, unit pack power, and it's 60 volt, 20 amp out. Okay, with the XT60, and uh, that's one. Okay, battery bag we're gonna put is over here. But uh, so it'd be 40 ml. But first, the most important thing for any battery additional, you have to find the location of the connector between the controller and the original battery. So I'm gonna flip the bike upside down and locate that connection first, and we go from there. And then uh, I have the uh, fusion battery combiner right here. Okay. It did say the controller there and the battery number one, battery number two, okay? That's a diagram there for, okay? It's called FBC, Fusion Battery Combiner. You can get it from a company in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, okay? So first, I'm gonna flip my upside down and locate the connection between controller and the first battery. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, so after we flip the bike upside down with the handlebar jack, all right? Up there like that you can see this location here look like a XT60 connection okay this one come in come out from the battery from the inside this one and this side is go back down into the controller okay so I suspect that that location is an XT60 connection we're gonna cut the zip tie out and take a look what's going on okay all right guys so uh, pretty much exactly uh, i suspect so this is the battery outlet that go inside the tube come down from the battery okay and this one is the controller if you go down there i might see see the red uh, power plus minus so we are use this the controller connector and it's the battery number one all right i'm gonna start uh, uh rerouting and connect it with the uh fusion battery combiner from somewhere in there okay so next step and we're gonna put the extension cord and flip the bike back over all right all right guys so i reroute everything okay this is the battery one so it's come out come here around here that's a uh, battery number one and this is the controller okay go in here yep kaya Okay, this is a controller come from this one so this to go to the controller on the fusion battery combiner and this is the battery number one all right so we wrap the tape and everything all right guys so uh as you can see this the uh, cord come from the second battery and this is an extension with xt60 so you route there go in there okay and go into the battery number two and that is a battery number one the original one so we we'll call it that that is a extension in the battery go down okay and underneath that we come earlier so as you can see the diagram here see that battery number one and battery number two and control uh, controller connection is in the middle yep pretty easy and then uh, tidy up tie uh some water resistant put the electrical wrap there i'm gonna finish off with this this cable hiding management or whatever and that's a fusion battery combiner i have like a gopro sticker uh sticky stuff on the back and zip tie up like that pretty good okay I'm trying to wrap up with the rubber wrap to protect the water or rain yeah and then uh let's uh i have the battery like a halfway on this one but this one is charging full so the battery come up like 100 percent okay uh, okay we're gonna turn on the power and you can see oh yeah yeah it come out city 6.5 so this one like the first one is half full but that's the second one is full okay so pretty much whatever let's try to go uh fifth gear 
Okay. Let's see how I try to work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The connection. Yep. Alrighty. Alright guys. That's pretty much about it. Oh and in the um let me turn off and turn on a little bit. Okay. So when the battery come up, we gonna go to invest setting. Okay, the last video I'm talking about the uh, setting, right? So I do a little one adjustment from a gentleman, uh, Kelvin, somebody. Uh, he suggests on a C4, okay, I turn it from zero to three. So in order to keep the, uh, the response of the throttle be like a immediate response. The high number, I turn to three. So that's the only change I have. So the rest is the same, okay? So this is setting currently have, and that's the only one change I have from the last video. And work out perfectly fine, nothing. So this is a permanent one. I'm not gonna change anything else. This is the one on this body, okay? All right, just a the update for you guys, just to let you know. Yep. So yeah, I'm gonna do some protection and uh, wrap up around against the rain and uh, that's part of the day. The uh, battery, add in second battery, successful. Okay. All right, everybody. So this is the uh, final product, what it looks like. So a Wicked Cruiser, 40 ml, 20 volt, I mean, Sorry, 60 volt, 20, 40 ml. The first 20 and another 20, okay? So pretty much complete. I seal up for the uh, rain and other stuff, snow, whatever, dirt, sand. Yep, like I say, that's the final product it looks. So what do you think, guys? Give, drop me a comment down below. So this is a Wicked e-bike cruiser. 40 ml, 60 volt. It's an additional range add in there. Going nowhere. Well, the rack is decent, but it's not as strong as the Kepler. The Kepler rack is a, way, a lot stronger. One thing I know for sure that. But the rest is fine. But it's very easy to um, find a connection between the controller and the original battery, and you separate that and we route into the FBC Fusion Battery Combiner, whether you want, whether two, I show you. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, okay? All right, guys, anything, comment, concern, drop down below and comment, and what you think about my mod. This is the most important mod for me. Uh, I'm happy with the speed, 38 miles per hour, but uh, the range, you know, you have to increase in order to sustain uh, 30 miles plus riding sometime you want to get fast uh, so <clears throat> two battery is cooler than uh, one battery and uh, they reduce the heat on a single battery and it extend the range and you can stay sustaining at 30 mile a lot longer faster let's say that way okay so any uh, comment concern two battery better than one battery for sure okay so no swapping i just add in there and that's all all right so this is wicked e bikes cruiser 40 ml 60 volt all right guys until next video i hope uh, you find this uh video helpful to you for install additional battery to any e-bike they work the same way except uh you know but it's basically if you put a blender in it's gonna end up this way anyway okay all right so uh thank you for watching and please have a wonderful day and see you in the next video bye